Hey guys, what's going on? So real quick update video today on these incredible Grant Stone Coast sneakers in tobacco. So I did a video on these not long ago, but I recently had the opportunity to field test these shoes on my recent trip down to Puerto Rico. So I have my oldest daughter lives in Puerto Rico. Now that things are finally opened up again, travel seems to be fully restored, thank God. We traveled down for a little over a week to spend some time with her. In the process, we went on some great adventures and I took these because of the heat. I wore these Coast sneakers and I really put them to the test. As you can see, they're kind of beat to crap right now. The uppers did get scratched up really good. Full disclosure, they got fully submerged in ocean water a few times, salt water. And they held up wonderfully. Uh, I took these into what's called the Cueva del Indio. It's an ancient Taino cave in Puerto Rico where the Puerto Rican natives, the Tainos, left dozens and dozens of petroglyphs in the rocks. Uh, I've researched what these petroglyphs signify. I'm not fully sure uh, what most of them mean most of them are just faces but they're very like emotive faces it's quite interesting most noteworthy was the swaddled infant kind of adorable basically depictions of a baby swaddled in what appear to be like blankets like tightly swaddled up i'll leave pictures of those but yeah super cool place getting access to this cave it's very difficult what it entails is you have to climb up through this very small crevice in the rock. It's not easy to get up to the crevice. And then once you do, you have to shimmy through a very tight corridor where the bottom is dropped out beneath you. So you have to shimmy through this entrance. The uh, cupsole that these are built on, very grippy on rocks. Very great for the application of rock climbing through this site. They performed phenomenally. Standing on jagged rocks, Navigating the, the rocky terrain was very easy in these. I was wearing shorts and these and a t-shirt. They just performed wonderfully. And so I would say if you're going to a hot tropical location or something like that, where you don't plan to wear boots, you know, you might be doing some moderately challenging climbs. These are a phenomenal option, I would say. Now, one thing that happened because these got so wet, I dried them out in the sun. So what I did when I got home, the uppers were super dried out due to the salt water mostly. And so what I did was I took saddle soap to the outside outer shell, as well as I took my application dauber and scrubbed all along the inside as well. I did it twice. I let it fully air dry in the sun. And then I applied some Smith's leather balm to it and really brought them back to life. And now you can just see what a wonderful patina they've taken on. I mean, just look at those. They look absolutely outstanding. A well-loved pair of sneakers, and they're more comfortable now that they're broken in than ever. And probably my favorite new feature of these is we got some really cool gnarly scratches on there. These are lined and the uppers are very resilient. And so for that reason, I'm gonna be definitely taking these on future trips to tropical areas, hot, humid areas where I will be wearing sneakers. I'm not always a sneaker guy, but I will say I'm happy to have them in instances like that where it is just so hot and you don't wanna destroy your nice boots. It's great to have some sneakers on your side in that case. But one thing I'll mention is the Grant Stone Coast sneaker comes in tobacco calf, saddle tan, natural Minerva, and black calf, but now they just introduced the Coast sneaker in Butter Suede. I will leave links to all these in the description below. The Butter Suede is super nice. It's like a tan suede color. Yeah, Calf Suede Tan by Charles F. Stead. It's got a Vibram cup sole, Kip Leather Sock Liner, Full Grain Kip Leather Lining, built on the Naples Last, which does run true to size. I'm a size 9 Brannock. These in a size 9 are a perfect fit. I typically wear 8.5 or 8E in Grant Stone's Leo and or Floyd lasts. So typically on the Leo last, I'm an eight and a half. I've found th that mo very comfortable. Recently, I've dropped down to 8E. I find it locks my foot in just a little bit better. So moving forward with the Floyd last, definitely I'm gonna be sticking to 8E. With the Leo last, eight and a half or 8E, I don't know, the jury's still out. But I do think the 8E is the overall best fit for me in, the, in those models. 
The butter suede looks very similar to the tan suede. Yeah, these are my tan suede diesel boots. Absolutely love these things. Because of my large rotation, they don't get enough love, but yeah, buttery smooth. Yeah, it looks like the same thing. Yeah, so let's do a quick size comparison. We've got the Naples Last size nine, Leo Last size eight and a half. And as you can see, I mean, comparing sneakers sizes to boots is not always easy or practical, but as you can see, the, uh, the Naples Last does appear to be smaller than the Leo in eight and a half. So you can see that there. Naples size nine, Grant Stone eight and a half. Very happy with the fit on both. Once again, translating boot sizing to sneaker sizing, it's pretty much like comparing apples to oranges, right? It's, it's just a different universe altogether, so it's very difficult to articulate. <laughs> Easy guidance, take your true size with sneakers and you should be good to go there. All right, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this update review on my incredible Grant Stone Coast sneakers. Once again, all links will be in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let's keep the love of boots alive. I'll see y'all in my next video. Hands down, together.